was just going to ask, you know, Arnold and Murray, maybe what you can remember about VJ, day, like where you were and how you felt. I mean, you were obviously a young man. Well, I do remember exactly where I was. I was at sea on the, the straw of the Caprice. And uh, what really uh, brought it home was when a U-boat surfaced and surrendered to us. So I remember I got photographs of that. We were in company with HMS Cavendish and, um, and I got photographs of this uh, German U-boat coming to the surface with a white flag and, uh, and surrendered to us. So I, I think I was out in the Atlantic somewhere. I think I was in my way south out towards Gibraltar, but I can't just remember exactly. So that was, that was where I was in, on VED. Yeah. That's quite amazing, isn't it? That's some that was VED, was it? That, that was VED, B, yes. VED. Uh -huh. well, I know where we uh -huh. were. Swinging round the boy in Scapa. Listening to all the reports of the jollifications in London, the sunshine, the young women in their fancy dresses, etc. And yeah. we were swinging around the boy at Scapper in, in thick fog. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we were on Vindex then, uh, which yeah. was a sister ship to Campania. Uh, uh -huh. But Campania was in Scapper as well. So, of course, we knew a few of the ship's company. So we asked them over and we had a circular table there about, uh, what, four feet in diameter. Uh, about ten of us around it. It was covered with whiskies and chasers and we sat there most of the day consuming those. <laughs> and that was our VE day. Yeah, well, oh, I was very much a conscript. Yeah, or a yeah. HO. I always remember we we hit quite a number of gales from the same direction on uh -huh. one convoy and uh, uh, it, the move on the ship was so much that I was thrown from one side of the wardrobe to the other and landed in the lap of a commander RN. Well, you can imagine uh -huh. what he thought about a, a sub, <laughs> subby VR landing in his lap like that. Bloody <laughs> uh, HO only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know when, I don't know where my father was on VE Day. I suspect from photographs that I have, he was coming back somewhere through the Minches. Um, uh -huh. um, might have been RA sixty six. Would it have been the last the last one that he came back on anyway? But if he was RA sixty six, yeah. That sounds familiar. Um, I'm not sure want... whether it was 66 or 62. Yes, yeah, I'm the convoy sure. that we came back on. That one, as far I as I've yeah. got no idea, it was 66. Mm. It was pretty well the last one. Yeah. And yeah. within a few days of, uh, of sort of finishing. Yeah. Well, so will Dad? Well, will all this be in your logbook, Dad? Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, right. It's in the logbook. Yeah. Yeah. But, I I can remember. Well, I can't. I don't know where my dad was. Obviously, he's not with us anymore. But I found out that he was in Murmansk, and that was one of the biggest convoys when they were leaving. And Jimmy Baines yeah. had told me um, him and some of the guys from Goodall had been playing football with some Russians before they left to call it inlet. And as they came out, the Gudo got struck and it blocked it and let, and they had to, his ship had to take the Gudo out. And he always said he, he always remembered it because he'd just been playing football with the guy before, before. Very, very few survivors. And I found out my dad's premier was there. So it was one of the escorts of that convoy. And I think that was one of the last convoys because by the time yeah. we got back, Scotland, Scotland. A couple of days later, it was VE day. Even Jimmy, Jimmy Baines Bain said, I couldn't believe it. Even my dad said, you know, a couple of days and those guys would still be alive. Mm -hmm. And that is the saddest thing. Yeah. 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 I, I think, I know for a fact, my dad was very happy to get home. He wasn't demobbed until November 46, because he fell It wasn't a very pleasant area to be. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe was like Clive yourself. Yeah, and you're in your early twenties. He just wanted to get home to my mum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my. I'm glad he did. <laughs> So oh, see, the only thing is that I, I um, um, at the time, I didn't think too much about it all. I just released home and, home and be able to enjoy myself and do what mm. I wanted to do again. And, yeah. uh, and so, so the following... We are Polish citizens living in Edinburgh and across. My two brothers, it's from the Russian Motorcycle International. I'm the member Night Wolves MC Poland. And we come in here today because it's the victory. And uh, in 1945, 9 of the May, all flags are together over between Berlin. Russian flags and Polish flags. We win this war together and we come in here, celebrate this day and also showing all the world so we are friends. Even of the politics, even of the any reasons, Slavs is always be friends. Hurrah! Thank you.